What's going on everybody? Welcome back Jacked Up Fishing. Well in this video I'm going to show you why you need a night vision camera. We've been running offshore as you know in the videos in the middle of the dark three in the morning and it gets a little hairy just because there's all kinds of obstacles floating out especially after all these hurricanes. Like right here in this clip I'm going to show you we got a big tree we just ran across. If we hadn't have seen that we could have hit that it had been just crazy. Here's the clip of that tree we've seen and uh middle of the dark check it out that's a big tree that's why you got to keep your eyes open when you're running yeah that'll ruin your day quick you hit this big bad boy you can see how big it is i'm scanning across it there's nothing on it boys so as you've seen there wasn't much fish on it but that tree if we hadn't have seen it or somebody else hadn't have seen it they could have just plowed right into it. There's poles out there. There's all kinds of obstacles out there. You just got to be on your A game, run your radar. But this FLIR 232 night vision is what we're putting on my buddy's 32 Yellowfin. And I'm going to show you how I put it on. Here we go. So what we're putting in today is called the FLIR M32. Here's the box right here. It's a night vision camera. It integrates with your Simrad. And we do a lot of overnight runs where we run through the middle of the night and it's a little bit scary sometimes if you don't see what's in front of you this enables you to pan at, on a horizon while you're running it gives you infrared and it lights up stuff so that way you can be safer it puts it on your mfd which is your screen on your samurai screen so i'm going to go ahead and install this today this is what we have right here i'm going to unbox it here and put it all in the coffin box so you guys can see and uh we'll check it out here we go okay so i've unboxed the whole thing for you guys here it is we got the mounting plate a bunch of gaskets this is the actual unit and the two wires one's a power wire one's the data wire that goes to it and goes into your interface for your simrad that's all it is but finding the correct spot is the most important part about this whole install you're going to find where your wires are coming out where your unit's going to be mounted if it's going to be ball up which is the round part up or round part down and uh how you're just actually going to route all the wires is very important. So right now we've we've opened up the console, kind of getting a look inside here. We've noticed that this is a yellow fin, it's a 32 yellow fin. Here's the radar mounting bolts. The only access through the T-top is in this through this electronics box here. So what we're going to do right now is we're going to pop the front of the electronics box out. We're going to pop that out gain access to the wiring and all the routing cables behind it and see if there's some pull cords if there's not we're gonna have to rechase it pull some new pull strings and leave some extra for the people behind us so we're gonna go ahead and pop that out i've already popped the top thing off here where the lid was and uh we're gonna go ahead and continue on all right Now, as you can see behind me in the, in the electronics box up here, it's nice and open. We do have power here, but we're gonna run it down to the main so we, we have a good connection straight to our source. So we're gonna put it down there. Um, you have all your spots right there. You got rigging tube there, rigging tube there. And look at, what do you know? There's some pull strings, both sides. I'm gonna go on the least important side because this is the side right here that has the radar on it. That's a lot of power running through there, turning that radar. So I'm gonna use the other side and pull a new pull string as well. So I'm just taking electrical tape and I'm making a few spots to where I attach the wires to it. Just like that. So I have the power wire. This is the data wire because it's got the biggest end on it. I put that one first, the power wire or the, the data cable with the biggest end. I try to round this off with some electrical tape so it'll go through the pipe smoothly. So then I come down a little bit farther, I put the power wire. And then I'll put the extra pull string right behind that. All right, this is a two man job. So I got my son down on the console, I'm up here. He's gonna start pulling the wires. I'm gonna feed to him nice and gently. That way we don't chafe any cables or hurt anything. So we're gonna go ahead and start doing that now. Good. Coming down? Yeah. 
All right, there, I put the, uh, the extra string on there, some nice white string. All right, let's go. Go ahead, buddy. All right, that was a success. We got it all the way through, all the way down. I'm going to go down there, start getting everything cleaned up and wired up, and uh, plug everything into the bottom section. And then I'll coil up what we don't need up here, okay? We're going to pop through right here. If you can see in there. I'm gonna pop through, that's where the radar is going. I'm gonna have to pop in right next to it. I, don't, I wanna use the same clamshell, recalk it, no extra drilling if I don't have to. So that's what we're gonna do, nice clean install. I'll bundle everything up back here that I'm not using and uh, tie wrap it all down real nice and plug this thing back in. Okay, so I'm up on the T-top now. This is where the radar wires are coming out now. I just popped off this clamshell and I'm gonna uh, make this hole a little bit bigger come out of this same clamshell, recalk it, and then I'm gonna run the wires up to the FLIR. So that's what we're gonna do right now. Let me go ahead and get to work. I gotta make sure I don't touch this wire here. So I'm gonna make, uh, get all these clamps off, get the wire out of my way, and we'll get to it. Got both wires pulled now, which is good. So now we're going to run the wires up. I'm going to mount the FLIR unit up there in front of the radar and then uh, get the wires all measured out. Okay, so now I'm mounting the camera. I got the wires pulled around, so I'm mounting the, the base of it. We're just drilling the holes right now and then uh, laying it out. And it has a seal that goes underneath it. So I'm going to lay out all the holes, get them all drilled. And then I got some uh, 3M4000 fast cure uv because this is up here on the top where it just gets blasted by the sun all the time so what i'm going to do is put this fast cure and it's uv protected so it can't get torn up by the sun it's not permanent like 5200 but it's good enough to seal everything and this is a great sealant so 3m fast cure 4000 uv and that's what i'm going to use on it so we don't want to get any water penetration into this hard top at all. The main thing is to seal it up good. So I got the, the camera actually mounted with one bolt. I got the, the sealant in the holes and I've got the seal below it right here. So I'm mounting it right now. I got the wires ran behind it and then I'll, I'll seal back here as well. And then we'll start routing the wires nice and neatly and fastening them down. But I, that was the main thing. This took a little bit longer. I wanted to get it right. So that's it. I'm going to go ahead and start screwing these in. I'm also using the square bits, square 3 16 stainless bits. Um, try to add a little bit more difficulty in case somebody wants to steal it because this is, a, you know, over $3,200 camera. So, you know, you want to make sure nobody gets away with it easily. Keep the honest people honest. So now I got it all mounted. The whole camera is mounted. Looks great. It's centered up. We double, triple measured. Make sure you always want to do that carpenter saying, measure twice, cut once. So we measured it all out. Looks perfect. Now we're going to route these wires. I'm going to use a lot of little tie wraps holding it all together. Then I'm also going to use a few with the holes in them. Um, I have them right here. So I have a few of the holes in them like this. These are awesome for mounting and keeping everything secure. And then uh, I'm going to try to loop it into what was already existing there. It makes it look a lot better. All right, so let's get going. So this is what it looks like right now, guys. Got a little rag there. This is what it looks like right now. I'm just going to loop it around. We're going to do something like this. Just make it nice and neat. And then probably come back into this wire here. All right, so let's get it going. I'll show you what it looks like when it's done. So the camera's mounted. I have all the wires nice and neatly routed. I just put a piece of tape underneath inside and I filled this up. This is the, this stuff's easily to come out. The, the caulking I use, you can push it out with your finger usually, but it seals really good. It might be a little bit harder than your finger. You might have to cut it out with a razor knife or something like that, but it comes out. It's not permanent like 5,200, it's 4,000. So it's not as bad, but it's a great marine sealant. I also resealed all the screws that I took out. I'm getting ready to put the clamshell back on it. But you can see it came out real nice. I routed all the wires nice and neat. And I'm just gonna seal the back side of that and everything, so it's good. All right, let me finish up up here and I'll jump down, start hooking stuff up. All right, not too shabby. 
I got a little seal, a little extra sealant on the bolts. Just clean them up. Make sure everything's clean. Make sure everything's sealed first and foremost. Then you want to clean it all up. All right, so there it is. I'm gonna put a little bit of a loom right here over this portion because I just have a feeling over this little plate right here it might chafe it coming rolling around. But other than that, it's done up here. I'm gonna put some uh, loom up there for that chase, and that's pretty much it. All right, let's jump down, start hooking everything up. Okay, we're down here back on the bottom. I put some extra slack up in here. This is what we have for up here. I also have about six foot down below because it's not that long of a run. I wanted some up here. I did it nice and tight, tie wrapped it all nice and neat. Now I'm just going to push this back up in here and tack it up for now and come back tomorrow. I got to order a part and I'll show you what that part is. It's for to hook up your Evo screen, your Evo 3 screen, I guess you'd say. Simrad Evo 3 screen. It's an RJ45 to a network plug and uh a network female so i'll show you what it comes uh what when it comes in when i put it back together but uh i gotta get some caulk put this whole thing back up in here and we'll uh, get back with you so the first thing you got to do when you install the camera you get it all hooked up is you call fleer um there's a gentleman by the name of jacob that helped me out personally he was awesome pretty much what i did was i made i brought my laptop out plugged the cat5 cable into the side and hooked it up to wi-fi in this case, since I wasn't getting good Wi-Fi outside, I hooked it up to a hotspot on my phone and then Jacob was able to come in, connect to my computer and set the IP address to that camera up there. That's how it gets registered and uh, enables the Simrad Evo 3S to um, control it via the IP address. So when you go in here, the main thing you got to do is you got to hit the settings button. You go ahead, you hit advanced and you go to features. So then you're gonna scroll down. I like to use the, the scroller. So you wanna go all the way down to the FLIR option. Do you see the FLIR option? Right above that, it says IP camera. You wanna select that, make sure that's selected. Controls where the IP camera features are enabled. And you also wanna do, if you wanna control it with your phone or the, the SAR features, you wanna make sure you select that as well. So you select them, then you X out. X out again. Now you're going to go to the home button there and you're going to select video. So right now, as you can see, it's on right now. Um, I just set it up, but you have video one, video two, and this is your source. That's your uh, ethernet IP address source. It's going to give you that option. When you select it, you select that and it automatically boots up the camera and there it is. Really cool. You can also do all kinds of stuff with your familiar controls here. You can toggle the color scheme to all the different colors, which it has plenty of, I was just doing this because it's nice and bright. You can scroll it all around with the buttons. It's pretty cool. It moves all around. It's really an awesome thing. You can set it up to where you like it to be set just by hitting the, um, you can go to home position, which it's set back to home. And you can adjust all that on the fly. Um, all kinds of cool stuff you can do. But that's pretty much it. It's really cool. It cycles however many times you want. We're running 100 miles offshore, um, middle of the night. You know, there could be a tree, which I've seen on, you know, you've seen on some of my videos. There's a big tree out there. If we hadn't have seen that, who knows what could have happened. Lots of big turtles are out there as well. It's just a safety feature. This will pick it up. You can have people monitoring that while you're running. You can run your radar and that. Game changer. Awesome. Um, we got this whole unit set up. Um, the FLIR camera was $3,200. We got the uh, wire for another $50, the extension wire for the RJ45 to a five pin Simrad. And then um, uh, pretty much just set it up. Got, caught on, got on the phone with Jacob. He set it up and that was it. Pretty awesome install really clean i like it so i just got done doing some more editing on it made a really cool setup a quick user function for my buddy wesley this is his boat this is his yellow fin i just set up a chart on one side his sonar and then the fleer there too in case he just wanted to run it quick so he sees anything it works the same way and then you can run radar on this one by by itself zoom in and out look for stuff but uh, you can have everything on one screen, have your radar on the other screen, and uh, be cruising right along. 
all right that's pretty much it man yellowfin is done pretty nice boat 32 yellowfin did a lot of work put some new batteries in her but uh came out real good well that's all i got for you on this video i hope y'all liked it i hope y'all helped help answer some questions about the m232 fleer it was a pretty easy install pretty straightforward um we'll see how long it lasts i'll do an update in about a year tell you what we like about it tell you what we don't like about it and uh all right well that's it if you haven't yet hit that like and subscribe button down below all right see you on the next video jacked up out